they can go no further. MPs from the pro-Kurdish HDP party, including its leader, are blocked by Turkish police just a few kilometers outside Cizre. Near Turkey's borders with Syria and Iraq, this Kurdish stronghold has become the scene of fierce fighting in the government's latest campaign in its 30-year-old fight against Kurdish separatists. In response to attacks on its soldiers, the government has placed the town under curfew and says it's targeting fighters of the banned Kurdish Workers' Party, the PKK, which Ankara calls terrorists. According to our information, the terrorist organization has lost around 30 men. We intend to eliminate those who deprive our citizens of their rights and freedoms. But the HDP says more than 20 of those killed were in fact civilians, including children. In this city of 130,000 people, food is running out and there's been no electricity since the crackdown began. In the last few days, 30 Turkish soldiers were killed. The army's taken its fight against the PKK into their hiding grounds across the border in Iraqi Kurdistan. Everybody should know of the determination of our fight. The airstrikes in northern Iraq continue, and we have had excellent results. The HTP, which won 80 seats in June's parliamentary election, accuses President Erdogan of trying to whip up anti-Kurdish sentiment ahead of new elections slated for November. It says it's suffered more than 400 attacks like this one. In the last vote, Erdogan's AK party lost its majority in the National Assembly and has been unable to form a ruling coalition.